afternoon, Pendale. We're coming to you live from the Pendale Television Studio. I'm Anissa Garduzzi. And I'm Maddie Hylevile. Today is Friday, November 1st, 2013. It has arrived. November Beard is here. 26 of Pendale's finest are participating in the beard growing contest. It's very simple. These 26 heroes will not have to shave their face until 3 p.m. on the 25th of November. Why did they do it? Simply to raise money to help provide Thanksgiving feasts for deserving Pendale families. Students and staff can vote on who they think has the best looking beard in the cafeteria during lunch all month long. So donate often. Uh, long purple boxes are in the cafeteria. Find your favorite voted staff member and enter the money into your slot. The winner will shave a special design into their beard on November 26th. Thanks in advance for making a difference in your community. Now let's go to Danny for his weekly feature. Thanks. I'm here today with Doug Peck, SBA treasurer here at Pendale Middle School. Today we're going to talk about powder puff. Here's what's so going on. What is powder puff in the first place? Powder puff is where the girls play football and some of the guys cheerlead. When and where is this event taking place, and what is the cost of entry? Uh, the cost of entry is $5, and it takes place here this Friday, November 5th, on the football stadium. Where is the profit money from this event going to? It'll go to Hannah's Hope Jar, and they'll select a charity. Are there any concessions or raffles going on during this event? We'll have pretzels and hot dogs available to buy, and there's a raffle going on. Very cool. And finally, who do you think is going to win this year? Well, obviously, ninth grade's going to win. Ooh, a broad, a bold prediction by Doug Peck. Again, thanks for your time, and we look forward to seeing you here at Pendale's SDA Powder Puff. For Pendale TV, I'm Dan Kirkpatrick. Back to you. Here's what's going on at North Penn High School. 142 students were inducted into the prestigious National Honor Society on October 22nd. After a rendition of North Penn's alma mater and an introduction by Principal Mr. Hines, the officers and cabinet members spoke to the audience. There are four things that we look for in a National Honor Society member. It's leadership, scholarship, character, and service. The students received certificates on stage and recited the NHS pledge to conclude the ceremony. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. With Powder Puff happening this afternoon, it's time to check in with Armand with some inside strategy on today's game. Now, Ms. Bettina, knowing that you were on the ninth grade football team, did that inspire you to also be on the Powder Puff team? I wasn't on the team. I coached the team. Do you believe that you coach the team well? No, not at all. <laughs> powder puff, the Powder Puff team is twice the team we have as a ninth grade football team. <laughs> well, that's a mouthful. So uh, do you have any trick plays planned for the game? No. <laughs> OK. Who do you think is going to win the game? Could be. Could be the ninth grade. We're looking good. We got about uh, three or four girls there. Donnelly, we're looking at her. She's got a, uh, she's got a, uh, she's got an arm. She's aggressive. She knows how to go out wide with the ball. She, uh, we got Caitlin Breen. She's a sprinter. She's out, you know, she, she knows how to uh, go for the long ball there a little bit. Um, and uh, a couple other threats out there. A couple other threats. They're looking good. Now, being on the team, did you, like, have a really good practice? Like, you saw the players on your team. Was it, like, a really good effort out there when you were on there practicing on the field? We didn't actually practice, but the girls were doing really good and following all the plays exactly how they were written. Mm -hmm. Now, do you believe that they do better than the ninth grade boys football team? Yes. A whole lot better or just better? A lot. <laughs> okay, now, who do you think is going to win the Potter Puff game? Us, we had more practices than the other grades. <laughs> well, thank you and good luck. I am your sports announcer, Armand Chambers. Back to you. 
The 7th and 8th grade football team won their 5th straight game Wednesday, beating Penfield 40-8. With that win, Pendale will be playing its 3rd straight championship next Thursday at Papa Yoder Field in Perkasie. The team will be playing the undefeated Penn South, which is a rematch from last year's 0-0 tie. Yesterday, 9th grade football team ended the year with a hard-fought victory over Satterton 12-10. Jeremy Prince got the team fired up to begin the second half. Jake Hubler scored on a two-yard run to get the Spartans on the scoreboard. Later in the second half, trailing 10-6, the team put together an impressive drive with key plays by Zach Lavalla, Mitch Gilbert, and Justin Harrison. A pass from Gilbert to Harrison gave the Spartans the lead for good. We'll be back after this short break. In order to give you the yearbook that you deserve, we thought we would give you an exclusive, never-before-seen look at the house made. As you can see, it's a painstakingly long process. What, did you think it was just all pictures and text? That's crazy talk. As you can see, we're going to make it right. We have time. Don't worry. It'll get done before you can enjoy it later in the year. Go to shopjostin.com or go to room 212 or 220 for an order for it. Don't wait, because it could be too late. And we'll <laughs> clean up that mess. <laughs> Today is the SGA annual Charity Powder Puff again event. Yes, the game is still on. The games will be held in the football stadium from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Admission to the game is $5. Each person will also have the opportunity to buy raffle tickets for a dollar for iTunes and Wawa. Food and beverages will also be sold during the game. Come out and see which grade level is Puff Enough. Hey, Anissa, I hear barking again. You're right. It's time for Boo Boo's Crusade. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Here comes Vegas Vona with his Powder Puff pick. I got them escaping by the Raiders 13 to 10. But more importantly, I'm here on this out on the field waiting for Powder Puff this week. And guess what? I got the eighth graders squeaking by the ninth graders winning it all. Well, for Pendel TV, I am Vegas Bona, and I am out. How can these things work? Eh, 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 I'm not sure. Back to you. Everybody have plans for this weekend? Here comes Ben Cassander with our weekend weather forecast. Thanks, Maddie. It's six, I'm Ben Cassander with weather committee. It's 64 right now, and the wind has really died down a lot from earlier. It's beautiful out, and the weekend is looking good this Saturday with a high of 64 and a low of 37. Sunday's going to be a lot colder with a high of only 46 and a low of 27. So bundle up and don't forget to 
Don't forget to bundle up. It's going to be sunny, but it's going to be really cold. Don't forget to have a good weekend. Thanks, Natty. Back to you guys. Thanks, Ben. We like to give a birthday shout out to Mrs. Lynham in the guidance office. Happy birthday. Pendel TV will return Friday, November 15th. As always, you can check out Pendel Television on the NPTV YouTube channel. Look for the Pendel TV playlist. Don't turn off your TV. We have a special video of Pendel to show you. On behalf of Danny, Berger, Armand, Umar, Bubu, Carl, Ben, Sammy, and Vegas Vona, I'm Anissa Gardizi. And I'm Maddie Heilweil. Have a great weekend.